You can use the Binance Trading Bot to completely automate your trading, set it up exactly how you want to trade, and then let it trade for you 24 hours a day using your own strategy. Hey guys, James here, welcome back. I'm gonna show you how to set up the Binance Trading Bot and how it works. So you can go ahead and trade with it yourself. Check the description for the video timestamps. And if you want $40 of free Bitcoin, download Celsius Wallet with my code in the description, get $40 free and start earning passive income on your Bitcoin. Let's come right into Binance and to get to the trading bot, we're actually gonna to have to come to Binance Futures. This is how we are going to get access to the trading bot. You can't do it in the spot market or in the normal market. So if you have a Binance account, you'll probably be coming into a convert or possibly the advanced trading feature, but you won't be able to find it in those. So we're gonna to have to go over to derivatives and then go into futures. If you don't have a Binance account yet, I'll put the link in the description. You can go through and sign up within a few minutes and then you can get access to your account and follow along. But you can either use US dollar stablecoin futures or coin futures. It doesn't really matter because you're going through to the same place. So I'm just gonna click on US dollar stablecoin futures and then it's gonna take us right through to the Binance futures trading page. Now, this is different to the spot market, but if you do have an account with Binance, it's very easy to go through and get the futures account as well. You just have to go to the futures and I think just accept some terms and conditions. And you can actually go over to your wallet and then go to your Fiat and Spot account as you would then. The only difference with Binance futures is that you may have to put some collateral on account with the futures. So you can come down here, you can see I've got some balance here of US dollar tether that is collateral. You can do that by going to your wallet and then going to your Fiat and Spot account, but also going to your Futures and Margins account and then just making sure that you have some collateral in those separate wallets. I'm not gonna get into what futures are and trading them here. If you want some in-depth tutorials about trading crypto futures and a big tutorial about Binance futures itself, I'll link them in the description for you. So to get right into grid trading, we're gonna come up to here to this grid trading right here. This is actually our trading bot. So I'm just gonna click on this. It will take us through to this page. It actually takes us out of the trading page. So it actually is quite simple and step-by-step -step in terms of what you can do here, but I'm gonna explain everything for you. What exactly is grid trading? Well, we can see here, we can actually put in a lower price and an upper price. And the best way to illustrate this is just to go over to a chart like this. Now, with a grid, you simply just choose a lower band and a higher band, and then the mid price obviously is in the middle where you're not trading at all. So we can actually put this on the chart right here. This is the Bitcoin chart. So let's say we are drawing the bottom of the grid around this level, and then the top of the grid around this level. So we have our upper limit and our lower limit right here, and we also have the mid price, which is around this level in the middle. So essentially what you're going to be doing is setting up a grid strategy where any prices in this bottom band that you can see here or this bottom grid, this is going to be your buying territory. And then of course, uh, above this at the top, this is going to be where you sell. So it's a very simple strategy of buying down here and selling up here. And you're setting up a grid strategy and you're telling the grid to automate this for you. There's actually many different ways you can use the grid and you can put in as many grids as you want. The simplest way is to actually put in two grids and that would essentially just be buying at this price down here and then waiting for the price to go up here and selling at this price. You could do that, but what most people do is add more grids. So let's say the price actually carries on and it gets to around uh, 55,000. It would actually enter a small proportion of your overall trade right here. Let's say the price moves down a little bit more to 54,900, then you would enter into another small trade. 54,800, you'd buy a bit more. 54,700, you'd buy a bit more. Depending on how many grids you have, you will buy a number of orders from the top of this grid down to the bottom of this grid. You will then get an average price, of course, somewhere in the middle of this grid. So you'll buy some up here and some down here. Now, if the price moves down here, you won't be buying. The grid will not trade automatically for you because it is outside of your parameters. But when the price does move up, so let's say it keeps moving up past this, it's actually gonna start selling as the price moves up. So if the price comes to here, you'll sell a little bit, up to here, a little bit more, up to here, a little bit more, all the way up to the top. And then as it moves down again, it will start buying more at this level. So what you can see here is that grid trading is really good if the price of an asset is what's called range bound. So it's just trading in a range, up and down, up and down. You'll be buying low and selling high and you'll make money all day long as long as the price stays within this range. 
Going back to the Binance Futures list then, we can see a couple of options. First, you can choose the market that you wanna trade. So I'm just gonna choose Bitcoin, US dollar tether here. And then you have three options. You have neutral, long and short. Neutral trading strategy is good, like it says, if the market is range bound. So what I've just described for you. If you actually wanna have a long bias, then you're gonna be making more money when the price goes up and is in bullish territory. That is what Bitcoin is doing at the moment. So you might want to lean towards that one, but neutral and long is okay. Now short, this is when you think prices are gonna fall and the trading system is going to be biased towards actually shorting the market and making more money with falling prices. So you can choose any one of these. I'm just gonna go neutral because it's pretty easy to do. Now the prices you have to set. So we can go back to the Binance Futures page and we can set a range here. Now I actually think that I wanna trade in a range of around uh, 52,000 which is about 8,000 below the current price of 60. And then I wanna have a range up to 68,000. So I just wanna be 8,000 either side. You can set this up exactly how you want though, but I think that's good. It just leaves this price in the middle and then I've got a separate range either side. So you can come over to Binance Futures and then you can go 52,000 and then to 68,000. You don't have to do it like this though. You can also say, yeah, but I think uh, Bitcoin is in bullish territory. I don't think I'm gonna get any Bitcoin at 52. So let's put that to 58,000 like this, and then actually move the upper price a little bit more. So maybe move that to 70,000. So actually what you're saying is you don't think you're gonna get too much cheap Bitcoin. You wanna buy more here and then just sell into rising prices. So you can do this how you want. Moving down to the grids, you can either choose arithmetic or geometric. So arithmetic is where each grid has an equal price difference, but geometric, the price ratio difference is equal. So it's a little bit of a difference there. I would choose arithmetic. Now, what this is going to do is choose how to place your grids. Like I said, you're gonna be buying in this level here and selling in this level, but you can put as many grids in each of these levels as you want. So coming back to the futures, you can have two grids. That simply means that you're going to buy it once and sell once. If that's what you want to do, you can do that, but you can put up to 149 grids in. So I'm gonna put 50 like this. That means I'm gonna have 25 buy orders at this bottom level and also 25 sell orders at this top level at different prices. Choosing arithmetic, it means that we're gonna have exactly the same difference in terms of the grids. One grid is the difference between a buying and a selling price, and it's gonna put these up for you. The way that you make profit is completing a grid. So let's say you had uh, one buy around this level here and then one sell at this level here. If the price moved down and then up, you bought low and sold high, you would complete that grid. And it even tells you how much profit per grid that you're going to make. You can see it right here. This is the projected profit per grid, 0.3% per grid or 03 to 0.37% per grid. Now, if I choose the grids down to two grids, you can see the profit per grid is much higher. That's because we don't have as many grids. And so the difference between this price at the bottom and this price at the top is obviously a lot more in terms of a percentage difference than having many different grids at smaller price increments. But overall, if you traded out all of your 50 grids, you'd be making the same amount. Something to note is that you don't just trade one grid one time. If the price moves up and down and you complete a grid and then it carries on and moves down again, you'll be trading that same grid again. The bot will keep trading for you forever until you tell it to cancel. And if the price moves out of this range, like I said, it just won't trade for you. Then we can set our initial margin and this is really important. I would come up here and make sure that if you're trading futures for the first time ever, or you just wanna give the trading bot a go. So I would just suggest having one X leverage, which is obviously no leverage. This means you are trading with one times what you have, which is obviously only what you have. You can do this up higher if you are a more advanced trader, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I'm just gonna confirm one times leverage here. Then coming down to the initial margin, I'm just gonna put some margin on account. So you can see there, I've put $40 on account. It actually tells me that the minimum I would have to have in my account for this trading strategy is around $3,000. So make sure you have enough on account to actually go ahead and do this. Then we can come through to advanced settings, which you don't have to use, but you might want to. You can actually set a grid trigger. This means that you can set a range 
at a price above or below the actual current price. So coming back to the main uh, chart right here, you can see that I put a grid in around 60, so below 60 and above 60. You can do that at a price below and way above. So if you think, I don't wanna trade now, but if there is a breakout to say 65,000 or 66,000, then I can actually start trading and start buying higher. So what you can actually do is start your buying maybe at 62, 63, and then say, yep, I do want to buy into rising prices, but if the breakout continues, then I'm gonna be selling into that strength as well. So what you're essentially saying is, I wanna trade a breakout, buy some at a lower price if it isn't a breakout, and then obviously sell into the breakout. So that is something you can definitely do as well. So obviously buying with this grid just at a higher price than it currently is. Also really important is the stop trigger because this trading bot, you can definitely make losses. Let's say you come over to the chart and you are buying all the way down here. Let's say you buy 20 times. So you're buying, buying, buying at lower prices all the time. If the price continues to move down here, you're not gonna have the opportunity to sell any Bitcoin. You'll be in a loss making position because your buying price is up here and the current price is down here. So it is not a foolproof trading strategy. You can definitely lose money. If you're buying in right here and the price falls, you can still lose money. Just like any other trading strategy, you are on risk here. If you do wanna set that stop trigger, just set the price as you can see here, and then you can choose to basically cancel all of your orders, come out of all of your trades, and essentially the bot will stop trading for you. If you do have a trading bot set up, you can come up to this option right here, active grids. If you do have any active grids at the moment, you will see them and you'll see all of the different orders that are on there. So you will see all of your buy and sell orders. And if the price hits those limit orders, you'll be trading in and out of your grids. You can also go and see all of the history of all of your trades here as well to see how many grids have been profitable for you. That is the Binance trading bot on Binance Futures though. If you don't have a Binance account yet, just click the link in the description to sign up. You can also get $40 of free Bitcoin if you sign up for Celsius Wallet. I use Celsius Wallet to make passive income on my Bitcoin. Get $40 of free Bitcoin when you sign up. You can use my code in the description. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.